and of course i am excited ladies and gentlemen this is the first ever episode of course the king of comedy talk shows is back after two years break I'm, of course i brought you tonight live on april i brought you dr Feneke live of course on on ktn and now we're here live at the comfort of your phone of your tv at the comfort of whichever place you're watching from this is dr Feneke live and of course remember to follow us on instagram at dr Feneke live at dr Feneke, of course on facebook and twitter and of course and also subscribe to our youtube channel dr Feneke as well ladies and gentlemen this is where all gloves are off it's bold it's witty it's humorous we are going all the way so please if you're not ready for this this is a time to log out or please skip the ad and go to another show because here hakuna it's all the way and of course ladies and gentlemen I don't know waste so much time. I am excited, of course. This is my first guest ever on Dr. Fenneke Live on nice. YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend. Yeah, my babes. Ah, my, I'm not gonna oh. say it on air because I know um, the anti-drugs are watching. <laughs> <laughs> she is a top corporate host. She's a top radio host. Um, you can imagine she was a newscaster at some point, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if she still can do that. Yeah. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, the CEO behind This Is Africa, the biggest, currently the biggest event happening in the coastal part of Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, Karibuni Sana, please sit back, relax. It's not about to be an easy one, of course. I am on uh, coffee. And remember, we are shooting live from Nairobi's number one meeting place. Um, eating place, the best of food and the meeting area, this Pete's Cafe. And of course, all our branches are on the screen, wherever you are. But currently, we're shooting live from Ark Place, Pete's Cafe. And you can see how my cup is looking all good. Inside, uh, if my pastor and my bishop and my deaconesses are watching, it's only lemon tea. They have decided I'm losing weight. Before we are done here, I'll be looking like a pinpop because heads <laughs> don't lose weight. And of course, Kamene, Kamene is the only person who was invited on the last supper because she's having wine. She's enjoying the blood, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show, Mama. As you took a pin for me. Can you imagine how I'll be looking? Do you know, I've actually been 70 kgs. For the longest time, I knew me. 70? I have never been. Yeah, don't ask any other question. Okay. It's the youngest I wait. I don't know why. I think I was cast. In Lunjo, we say, mm -hmm. Nilukula Karatasi. <laughs> There's always a myth that you can never gain this because you ate some nylon paper. I don't know if. Uh, so, you like karatasi kuyo mtoto? I think you like tamia chips mitu. But is it like just like natural or you're a poor eater? No, I'm a poor feeder. In fact, I find eating the most stressful thing. <laughs> in fact, I don't, I don't find you eating guys, relevant for life. We have taxes, we have loans, debts, nini. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, when you measure those issues, it's now when, uh, ah. when, when you talk about doing yoga. Me, I, can, I can't do yoga. Seriously? Because yoga, that's when you think. You know, yoga is about clearing your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for three, five minutes or something. Uh huh. But you cannot do yoga in Kenya. How? We How can you clear your mind in Kenya? First of all, just try it. Like here, unaski a kaka. Okay, okay. Mm, then the BBI like comes money. to mind. Kaka, 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 kaka. kuna January na kuja and there's no money. And but the guys should prepare for January. I already started preparing for January. What are you preparing for? What do you mean, what am I preparing for? Are you still doing this as African January? Are you no. going to do it? <laughs> Don't I also have personal expenses? Oh, no. <laughs> You're so silly. What is the most expensive thing to you that you spend on? What I spend on most right now is This Is Africa. This Is Africa takes a lot of money. A lot of people think it's easy that mm. um, you have a lot of support. You would be shocked. This is Africa right now on my spreadsheet is my most expensive thing. Are you serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's it's been worth it because I mean I look at what it is now and Mazeni Mungu, it's huge. This is Africa is a monster. You know, every time and I in fact I've always been jealous of myself why I have not why I've been feeling bad about myself, why I've yeah. not been able to attend any mm. which I want to make a point of attending you this. You better one. attend this. No, I'm gonna become am I gonna be on the stage you, though? I'll, of course. Because if I get I'll feel jealous. <laughs> Seeing the last there, and I'm like, okay, what? I want the microphone. Do you, oh, for real, you want the mic? Yeah. Panda, come. But I'm not paying you. I've already paid all of my people. Everything So I'm using SDR. Huh? I'm using SDR. I, bro, I don't know. <laughs> no, at least pay VIP for SDR. It's only one G. VIP? Yeah. They okay? I don't know. I'm it's not sure. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know why you're looking at me like I know. No, I don't know why I still feel. I still feel Kupanda train. Come. You could try in a life. I could try in a life. Uh, it's because us to live on a trade to be better because we didn't have money for fair. So oh. we used to we used to hang on whatever is hangable. So only we only answer with Jehovah Kitambo. Me I was even a donda number nine. What? Only but I need to spank mat. Ah! 
I had so many things to say. I know. No, let's get serious. Let's get serious. But yes, um, so it, this is Africa that's most expensive. But other mm. than that, I mean, you know, I'm by myself. I don't have kids. I'm not paying school fees. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Life is not really as costly as people may think. Another thing is, I also spend a lot of money on traveling. You like traveling? I don't Sana. see you. I just know there's a day of the week you're never in the studio. <laughs> 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 But they have now mastered. This is the day of the week. Stop when, it. When you see Jalas alone like this, yeah. on a photo, you're like, oh my god. But you see, the thing is, time. Jalas joined hey. me and he stopped running the desk. So him, he has a very easy time in studio. But they're working with me is the best thing in the world. I'll do everything. You just have to come and be. And, and do, do your uh, morning call and baby girl. Must I just say your name? You only have to do is say your name. What do I do? So... Sometimes it's good to switch it up on him. Let, at, let me ask you. Yeah. Does he even miss you? He does. Do you, you know, anytime I miss the show, Jalango gets angry at me. <laughs> so if I no, miss I've a really, show... I really always gets confused between being the comedian and being <laughs> the presenter. It's like, ah, sasa, angelas. This is Kiss 100. I'm like, get back to character. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he manages really well. He's a mm. dope guy to no, he's work an amazing with. Guy. But he's if amazing. I miss a day, I can't even talk to him. We in the studio the next day. I always feel like he looks like a homeless guy somewhere in the streets of Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell, cut off that. Cut off that. Don't 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 don't, 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 don't bring those skin. Let me ask. Tell me. Um, between between Kibe and Jalas, let's put it blank. Who did you enjoy working with most? Definitely Jalango. I mean, everyone can see the huge progress I've made and the steps I've made and how much I've grown mm. in the one year I've worked with Jalango. Mm -hmm. You know, he's also been easier to work with. He's very, very hardworking. Yes. Sometimes you don't realize how much you didn't have until you actually have it. You get what true. I mean? So, and he's... Jalango is funny. He makes me laugh. I'm never stressed when I'm working with him. He's my friend. He's my bro. Oh, you, know? okay, you guys. And then oh. he's also helped me make a lot of good decisions. I was on a very crazy tangent for a while. <laughs> I wasn't gonna. Can you blame that on Kibe? <laughs> <laughs> I think I also have that wild side in me, of course. Mm. But Jalas has taught me very quietly, so when to pick which one to play with. It's not that me, me, and now I've become, oh, I'm such a settled young, no. No, you, you've learned how to balance life generally. Exactly, and to just be an adult about So you stuff. never miss Kibe? Um, recently, no. I mean, I tried to maintain our friendship after we stopped working, mm. but I don't know, he just got like really toxic of late. I remember there was a time, I don't know, he went, he was, he's been out of the country. And yeah, I believe they say he's sleeping at some mama's place. You guys, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, pardon your Spanish. <laughs> Sorry, what's French? Multilingual. Uh, oh, whatever. You know, man. so mm. when he started attacking me personally and, you know, hitting out at me and dragging my name into this mess that he's gotten himself into, I was like, yo, I'm just out here minding my business. But I actually thought that you guys had a beef like had an issue when Chini Amaji, then when you guys are no longer together as a, as, a, as a host, he decided not to come out clean about it. Nothing. I personally, I had no issue with him. When is the last time you spoke to him? Hey. Because um, he's gone all guns blazing. Yeah, I mean, like I've seen that recently. I, I spoke to him on his birthday. Mm. Let's wish him a happy birthday. But yeah, I haven't, we haven't really talked. So now when he went on social media and I don't know what the topic was, <laughs> and it was attacking a Kamene, I'm like, yeah, 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 no. And I just said, I just told him, hey, I say, whatever is happening, I don't know, but don't put my name into. You do your thing. Yeah. Uh, me, 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 get your actually, views. Yeah. Where? <laughs> you give me your game. What? I actually blocked him, Nini, what? I was just like, no, I can't do this. No, me, I'm already waiting for him to dish on this show. Two? I'm already, already waiting for him to do some Dr. Feneke. Ah, some wow. Puny, some puny show. Some puny, some puny <laughs> show. This guy, Dr. Feneke, you know, you know, this guy's been trying to tell us he's Nigeria. Some puny show. But I'm <laughs> just waiting for him to do whatever he wants to do. <laughs> now, let's, we, we, talk, we talked about um, you and uh, you not having a family, not having kids. Yeah, yeah. You never wish to be, you never had that desire of being a mom. Uh, 
Um, I honestly genuinely feel you're such a soft hearted person. You'll be such a good mom. Um, I would love to, but then, you see, there's like a sequence of problems as to why I don't think I should do it. <laughs> Can we start with one? Um, I don't know. So, okay, this whole nine months thing, that's like a lot of time. And then I hear like your body rejects. I don't know. My experience, what I've heard about pregnancy hey, is very but scary. Then, then, no, just only, then she like, like, I've just told you about the giving birth part. I don't know if I can do the it. The pushing and the shouting. So you cannot carry a baby for nine months. So then you try probably get somebody else to carry it for you. No. If it's going to be mine, it has to be mine. Then like giving birth. Like, but you can't carry a baby via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or so infrared. Okay. <laughs> You guys tell me what next. I'm giving birth. I saw videos like, no. No, come in, seriously. You think carrying so a baby. So where is the baby going to come out it's from? Not like a, a, it's not like a light bulb socket. Even you give birth. Well, it's <laughs> biological. It's not allowed. Oh, okay. But you, for Rihanna, I would have carried her pregnancy. You would have? Oh, my God. I love Rihanna. My God. I would die for her. Riri, baby. Uh, no, she's pregnant here. now. Okay. You for are, you've ASAP become... nonsense risky. At ASAP nonsense risk. Yeah, that's useless. You guys were here day. in Nairobi, Kenya. You're calling ASAP Rocky nonsense. You can go. I hope they have a rocky marriage. <laughs> so hard. It wasn't no. about me, it was no. about you. No. So let me tell you. Rocky so, uko. <laughs> rocky, if you're watching Mawe, <laughs> What's in this your tea, by the way? I'm no, no. no I'm it's lemon. It's lemonade. I'm launching uh, Beyonce's album. So. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so you're saying your issue is you can't you can't phantom carrying a kid for nine months. Okay, carrying cool. Okay, we can work through that. Uh, you know. <laughs> and then there's the, the baby. The, they're not working through it. I don't know how the baby is going to come out. Both um, options that were made available are looking a bit difficult for me. I, and I have mm. a lot of respect for mothers out there, including yeah. my own. Mm. It's not an easy thing. But I think the other thing is, you know. For a woman, mm. when you have a child, your whole life changes. True. You true. know? For it men, snaps. yeah, for men you can you can play the fence. Mm. But when, once you become a mother, you know, your whole world becomes about this other human being. You get yeah. this person. Every decision you make, every move you make you have to think of is them. based on and you see, I'm a middle child. So yeah. I've spent the better part of my life parenting everyone and um playing in the background i think i've gotten to the point where for the first time in my life i can focus on me and do the things that i want you see i mm. have full liberty over my life i have never had that opportunity unfortunately for me i'm a firstborn Oy. then uh in a family of four uh four kiddos then uh when i just told it was time for me to rest yeah then my my biological in, uh, fertility needed to prove itself oh no and now i'm a father of three Hey, so I still have to take it. So I think I'll just be taking care of people until. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until uh, that's a you problem. Uh, <laughs> you see, no. I like being able to wake up and say, I want to go to Zanzibar. But it doesn't mean I don't go. I still, you know, I travel yeah, around. Because you have mothers who take care of your children. Do you have the same mothers? Do you have to really pull it in my face? Oh. <laughs> that I have mothers for my daughters. Debbie, Faith, Aisley, it's okay. Fine. Auntie Kamene is shooting shots. Excuse me, don't call me Auntie. I'm uh, still young. <laughs> Call okay, me Kamene. Auntie Sweetheart. Uh, auntie, auntie Moo. Uh, Missy Auntie. No, there's always that one cool idea. Auntie Nia, what, 33, 34, 35? <laughs> Missy and I'm Kamene. You can call me Mishi. Let, let me ask, yeah? Uh -huh. At some point, um, you talk so much about your, your, your divorce, yeah. your past marriage. Then of late, you, ha you don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> but of late, I've been watching, I've been listening. Uh -huh. Of late, you've cooled down on it. Uh -huh. Is it that now you've gotten over it? Okay, first of all, I don't know why people think I wasn't over it. I really was. I, that was one of the relationships I got over the quickest. Why I talk about it so much is I learned some very fundamental lessons in that experience like, mm. that I feel women need to know. You see, I have a lot of women who come to me upset in their marriages, upset mm. in their relationships, upset with themselves, the women that they have become, subject to those relationships. And these are lessons that I already learned within my marriage, mm. which is why people think I'm not over it. But, but in essence, I'm just, I'm trying to walk someone through something I was going through that they are going through. Mm -hmm. You must share lessons. Otherwise, how are we going to help each other? What were I mean, your lessons? Oh, put yourself first. Always pick you. You know? Is that not a little bit selfish? It's not selfish. You see, 
women in the mm. pursuit of love or in our relationships or marriages more specifically you you make your whole life about ensuring that he can live his dream mm. you know he becomes the most important thing in your world it's your husband and your family you know but what happened to so submit to a vision you can submit to it cool kabisa but for a woman the minute you get married same thing with a child do, 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 do. So we live our whole lives living for other people. You live for your family, you live for mm. your husband. And a lot of women forget themselves. So when relationships and marriages go wrong, mm. and you're left without that person who is now probably, let's say, your anchor of yeah. existence, then mm. you end up feeling lost. You don't know who you are. You forget the things you used to do. You forget the things that made you happy. You forget the things that made you important. More women, women actually forget their value at the end of a bad marriage or relationship. But, but, but is it, um, I, mean, I mean, with the notion of Nairobi being Nairobi, yeah. can, we also say, can we also say that either the Nairobi woman or the, Kenya, the modern, modern urban woman has become too overwork or too stubborn or... Yesterday, let me tell you a true story. Tell me. Yesterday we were my boys at Gemini. Yeah. And uh, we're there, we're having fun. Of course, I don't drink. So me, I was just there with my water the whole oh, night no you don't drink I quit, so uh, six, no, six months sober now six months it must be boring yeah, i hate alcohol alcohol if it's, a, it's for illuminatis it's for devil worshippers now it sounds like i've joined Jehovah's witness because you sound like one of those prophet or war people i know <laughs> you remember that that's about to feel it in that we malisa this story <laughs> no joke aside ah and i i i because when of course you and i having having i've done legal yeah so I applied what we learned in human behavior and psychology. Yeah. So this, this chick I was studying the whole night for almost three hours. God. This chick had, had a guy who was sitting somewhere uh, smoking shisha. Yeah. But then I saw this chick go and dance with four other guys and actually kiss the two on the other side of VIP of Gemini. Well, la, la. Then she went, kept going and coming back, going and coming back to this same, same guy. Oh, no. And I asked myself, so when I'm not with my mama, is this what she does? Or is this what really happens? Now that I'm sober, I can literally see everything. Okay, first of all... So what has happened to the today girl? First of all, that chick was probably with the guy with the shisha because he was paying the bill. But just, but you, why, would you, why would you want to hog over a disease? You know, first of all, I, I see that behavior. I see it all the time. And I'm like... You know, first of all, the problem with the dating social scene right now... Yes. And how most women are behaving... Most, keyword being most, I'm not saying all, most women are behaving. Mm. All revolves around one thing. The payment of bills. Money. Is Money. it that bad? Is it it that really bad? is that. And you know, I see it all the time and I'm like, I keep on telling, babe. Me, I'm in Costa every month to say me. Like this month I'll be in Costa maybe four times. Yes. Most weekends I'll be in Costa than here. So I stay in the hotels because... It's easier for me to do what I need to do if I'm staying exactly, at the hotel. Yeah. Mm. How much of that stuff do I see? The Mubabas with the Slay Queen. Every weekend you're there, there are a different set of Mubabas with a different set of Slay Queens. And this chick is easily disgusted and averse to the man that she's with. But why is she there? She needs the holiday, the wants the holiday, pictures by the beach, nini nini. She wants it to look like this. So, know, she's so there right posting. now, he's mm. the guy who can pay the bill. But she probably has a boyfriend on the phone. Who when Mubaba sends 15k and I'm skumia 10k yaku fanya shop. And I've actually had their guys who actually who accept it. They accept it like yo. How many calls do I get on the show? Some of yeah, the mango are kona Mubabas. We are in a three. We yeah. are in. A, we are in a, with the yeah. three of us. It's a group. She'll be bought for iPhone 12 at a car now. When she's upgraded to 13 and a party of boyfriend. He me potia. He me potia boyfriend. Like that. Get another one. Wanna share. Wanna share. Ni ana juwa tu wanna share demwa kena Mubabas. Why? Payment of bills. Have you ever been cured by a Mubaba? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been tempted to meet one? Never. Ew. Yuck. Ah, yesterday you I don't was... see some of them. No, well, I know me, I only know those Indians. <laughs> you know, the thing is, I always wonder, you see, and I want babes to understand mm. these things that these Mubabas promise you, you can actually do for yourself. And, please. If it's something you want from someone, can you want big stuff? You know, it's the time I was, as a Mubaba who came. <laughs> this is that you're laughing. Uh -huh. I, said, I was just like, this knucklehead. He's like, come in, you know, no, no. I'm like, you know, first of all, you're married, so just leave me alone. No, 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 it doesn't matter. I think he said, um, you know, I can afford your dreams, so I can afford you. I was like, afford my dreams. Hold wow. up. <laughs> I was like, listen, one, 
no, you can't afford my dreams. Can you afford the PhD, the books I'm going to write, the chopper I'm going to own, the yacht I'm going to be just moving around the oceans with? Are you crazy? So even by the time you're coming to me, please, you're coming with something big. Come with them. Yeah, but even him, he was far-fetched. Eh? I you can afford I'm, your dreams. I didn't go to Mongolia and I'm like, look at you. What's all you say? Well, I really think that. And he probably may not even survive to see your dreams. I, guys. The miyakas have chopped. <laughs> Stop selling yourself short. Actually, not even short, period. Stop selling yourselves. It's not worth it. So, Those holidays that you're being taken for, paid for, and you're with this ugly, blah, 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 beside you, they can pick out a point if they organize their minds right and focus right, that you can do that for yourself. I keep on saying, if it happened for <clears> me, <throat> it can happen for anyone. But I guess, well, our generation doesn't say... I'm, I'm a firm believer that... Um, Money, money is not everything in a relationship, but it's a financer. It's a, it's, yeah. it's, it's, um, it's a means. It's a means. Yes. Because of course, I mean, we can't sit each other and say, yes, uh, Kamene, I love you. Yes, Sunday, I love you too. And that's it. Because because all this my baby, I don't to to pick him a penzi. Na pila otatu. Da kani pick him a penzi leo we kule na chicken curry. Alafu skive le na onja. Baby, bonja him a penzi leo. Oh my gosh, bado tu niko na onja. I know it can be, but I, I'm a firm believer that money, yes, is, a, is an important pillar. Yeah. But it's not the main pillar for a relationship. I also think... At Otherwise, the, the Mubaba thing would work. Yeah, at the same time, money, of course, it's an enabler and it isn't things you want to do in the relationship. Mm. But it shouldn't be one of the reasons or foundation for the relationship. True. And if you find yourself in a relationship where both of you don't have money... How about you put your two heads together and make some money together? Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. But we know, I think our, our, our generation is, I want things proper. Yeah. So I don't have time to build an empire. Eh. I want when the king is already in the, in the castle, then I get in. Oh. That's what chicks are looking for. If you ever find a king and he has a castle, there was a queen who pulled him out of the gutters for him to have that castle. And just as she might come back, she's on leave. <laughs> where, she's where? on leave, she should leave, she might leave. She I might come back. Rudy. <laughs> and Akirudi, by the way, said, I'm Maji. Where is your ice cube? It melt. Ah. There's only that one person. What? I'm here, you know. Th this G that I am all said, yeah. Hey. hey, trust me, when Christine, when Christine calls, but I, you know, at times I ask myself, what, happen what happens to the me? What happens to the man in me? Your voice becomes small. I'm like, wait, what's your name? I'm going to pick up. I'm going to pick up. I love Yes, babe. Hey, baby. <laughs> babe, snap to me in your door. <laughs> Mama, my jam. But I love it. Yeah. You guys should be afraid of us. Eh? Yeah, we are Taliban out here. Hey, you guys, you, hey, you guys are ISIS. Hey, you guys have upgraded software, iOS 13. Tuko hapa tunapambana na nyinyi na wazimu zako zote. And then at you go come. Wow. No, but me, I know me, I'm stubborn. For someone to tolerate me, I know I'm very stubborn. I'm very hard-headed. That one I know for sure. I don't even able to tell me that. I think for me, my thing is I'm impatient. Is really? that in the same thing? Is that almost the same thing? And I have a... For me, if... I don't believe in arguments. Mm. We don't fight. And if we argue, but I'll go. Me when you argue, I laugh. Man, don't wow, wow, I can kick you in the face. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, don't, don't steal my ass. Okay, not no, that I'm violent. Me, me I laugh. But then we argue. Hey, I, I laugh, I turn up the volume and I cannot how Ooh. what are you doing? Why were you calling her babe? Why was your hand around oh, babe, her waist? It, it, no, don't babe me. Do you see me letting other men touch me? But listen. Do you? Skiza. So look now, you're going to go embarrass me before the whole world, eh? Skiza. So that they know now I'm sharing you, my husband. Babe has become like Bia. Babe. In fact, Safaricom is short okay, of calling let us me call Bia, babe. babe. I call for you babes right now. You want babe? Uh, babe relax. is universal. <laughs> I call now. Wait, say less. Uh, you can't fight with me. Babe has become like Bia right I, now. This is... It's like darling. Darling is not a big word you anymore. Can't, you can't... Okay, darling is fine, sweetie, sweetheart. Babe, I don't care. Okay, hey. man can call you babe, but he can't call another chick babe. Is that how double standard we are? Yes. I think now niggas can't even tell us that I miss you. I think, hey, jealous is out. But then I could miss. Do not hang out when. I miss you. <laughs> I would say, wait. You're for, I miss you with your bros. Hey, me, I would never. I think me and, I miss you. when me and fellow call each other, they're like, yo, bro. Fellow is jealous. I, me, I'm like, yo, jealous. I'm like, yo, bro, you okay? Ah, I was just checking out. I need a that is this. But I'm saying, I've the time I've called you, that should tell you I've missed you, and that's it. So why don't you call me nowadays? Well, well was, uh, the last time I called, there was a guy who was speaking in the background, so I was like, huh? When was that? 
Was it well? Like almost like four, five months ago, I thought you were in something serious. Are you in a serious relationship now? Yes, I'm in a serious relationship. Oh, God, you guys don't even laugh, no jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in love, like for real? Uh, yeah. How does it feel? Mm, well, what I like about this relationship is mm. I feel very secure. I don't have stress. You don't have stress because he doesn't call. No, as in like, I don't. I have no worries with him, mm. you know? I'm very happy, he's consistent, he's a really dope guy, mm. you know? Uh, very serious, so it's, it's actually, I'd put it as one of the best, it's my best relationship. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how many times in a relationship, how many times should uh, your other better half call you? Or you call him in a day? Um, so like us, we talk mm. throughout the day, all the time. Texting and calling at the same time. Yeah, this free time, it's always good to touch base. Mm. And it's been like that from day one up until now. So it's, I think it's subject to how much time you have. Because mm. there are also times when he doesn't have time and I don't have time. And he made communication a really big thing in our relationship. So mm. you have to communicate. And I always fail at that. I'm a bad communicator, guys. I don't pick up calls. <laughs> I don't respond to messages. Ah, I'm going for charity. Yeah, yeah, call charity. <laughs> you realize I call charity more than I call yeah, you. Yeah, call charity. Yeah, because I'm like... If you want to get to me properly... Mm, I it's because I also don't want to hurt my ego well, when I call and you don't pick up. But they imagine so I, I know it. charity will always pick up. But you have never not picked up your phone call? I, I don't know why. Either because um, then I also want to make sure charity, uh, uh, her salary is a... <laughs> her salary is a farm. <laughs> Like chick pick if up the you phone. Ever want to find me? Just find someone called Charity. She will find you for me. I find myself with her. You know. Let me ask. Her. In, in so far as you guys have dated, as we're almost getting uh, wrapping up, eh? What is your most like? You look at just okay, jitam kutano jangale kwa kio usine mira mira mira. This is the most irritating thing about me, and I know he hates it. Uh -huh. Apart from being a bad communicator. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Most irritating. Um, uh, I don't understand emotions. Yes, <laughs> that is it about. So you see it. You went to Jangili, went to Jambazi. I could not Jambazi understand emotions. This is Jambazi. But then let me no, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is how you argue. You know, a normal Chile should be arguing like this. Like, babe, you know, uh, I'm sure this is you and you, you, you. <laughs> Now listen, eh? <laughs> me, I have job in the morning what? at four. <laughs> so either you panda me with something sh or you go sour. No, you go. food pile. You can cook. Kunam chile. Kunam pilau. No, zama kupi kama uji eke u download microwave. Me shakulala. Mini baby girl. <laughs> mini baby girl. Hey, mini baby girl. <laughs> you say you, you don't feel emotions at all. You see, thing is about me. I keep on telling you, I'm a middle child. Mm. So I've become, I, growing up, I've been a very industrious child. Uh -huh. So I believe in efficiency and progress and movement. Twende. Yeah, like twende. You're angry. I'm yeah. sorry. Let's so go. Like, even me, like, if you start crying in front of me, I'm getting confused. I'll be like, eh. Hey, you're like me. I love you. <laughs> no, but let me tell you. Kuna siko. Wow, 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 wow. Kuna siko was with uh, my friend. I know my, my, my <laughs> daughter is like tired, but go to Kwaza. Ni kwa na besi de angu. Now they're, yani, anapitia. Kona heartbreak. And she's really complaining about this. You're yeah, like me. I'm like, eh. I'm like, where guy apakumedoka? So she looked offended. Because my basi laughing is not working. I told myself, me she cry. Just cry with her. Liat. Something. One one of my boys. Me nearly check up. I mean one of my boys are one. Dying. One of my one of my boys. I was cheated on. Um, Demiake ni chit na ajira rani na disku yake jobo. Wow wow wow. Aga mkufanda kwa Facebook. So na kwa mwezi unujua. Nasa nini ajira. Unujua wendo kwa msewa. Wendo kwa wendo la mdokta. Unujua mwezi. So me, first of all, I'm not loving the story. First of all, it's the look on his face. Mwezi unujua. Unujua mwezi unujua mwezi. Lafu. That's my worst trait. Hahaha. Mine is so bad. Apollo mine lost the dad. 
Miss Nanga emotions. Me, by the um, me, I'm icebox. Like what yeah, said. You keep on saying that about me too. I, I don't know what happens. He told me that dad passed away, and I didn't know what to say. I ended up asking. Bona budaka miko fasai. And I was like, wow. <laughs> but I was just like, adi adi. Ah, bona budaka miko fasai. That's like, oh, oh. So all I did was like this for like five minutes. I was like, ne God, ne plan ya God, ne plan ya God. You know, you can never question God, eh? Any plan yake, he gives and he takes. <laughs> well, as we uh, finish uh, up, as we finish me. up, um, umi pigana now say Twitter. Me, me. Umi, but then you fight trolling. I don't fight trolling. Eh. They troll me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I want. Oh, oh I, you're a victim. No, but. I, you know, I, don't, like, I, don't, I don't have emotions. See the tweet, no. you know, my Twitter is not even me really tweeting more often than not. Charity. Instagram, the young go to Charlie Charity. So, Mukenda kuni troll. Mukenda troll charity. Not to see on Angi, Nambi Angu too. Eh, babe, on a trend. Apo tu na zima simu na ingia Chicago. How does it make you feel? Um, it's. Listen, guys, I don't like the limelight. I don't like being front of face. It's not something, it's a job. You know, I'm a radio presenter. Yeah. And that brought in a whole other sequence of things. So I don't like it. You might be shocked. When you meet me, when I'm just being myself, mm. I'm very quiet. Chilled, yeah. yeah, as in cinema and mob. So, trolling really devastates me. I won't lie to you. Do you cry? Is that uh, why your emotions come out? I cry. Yeah, yeah. You guys have to make no, but make me cry. Uh, trolling needs what a, about trolling? I, Troll yourself. Also, I don't know how the people who are doing it, but also at the same time is um, what I do is when it happens. Like mm. the last time it happened, imagine you call Wapi. You call Wapi tapas. No, I was at Nini. I was waxing. Ah. Yeah. So I'm going at the place. And I'm just there, I was talking to my pal on the phone, I'm like, Abu distracts me, Maze, Udem and Ataka Guniwa. So I'm just beginning to roll, so, so many calls are coming in. And I'm like, uh, so I shika one, hello, this is two call and Kakata. And then I, I told my pal, Abu, babe, let me call you in a minute. Then Charity calls me and she's like, babe, to not trend. I'm like, wow, 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 wow. Uh, uh, Charity, just correct yourself, una trend. <laughs> hey? What did I do? So I called back my pal. I'm like, Kuna moto mahali, lakini kwa sasa, what I'm going through right now is more <laughs> So finished waxing. I went home. I put off my phone. I told Charity, if you need to call me, get me on this Because yeah, I think I tried calling you, your phone wasn't going through. Yeah. So I, I just put off my phone, sat home, had some wine, watched Chicago Med, chilled with the man. Them. It was easy. And guess what? The next day it was gone. I didn't see anything, didn't hear anything, my feelings weren't hurt, and life moves on. In the morning, you are in that studio like nobody's business. Are you crazy? That's my job. <laughs> That's my job. That's my bread and butter. Oh. <laughs> you must be out of your mind. <gasps> Auntie, I can't come to work because I'm trending. Get out of here. You call the HR, you call Sinclair. What? You think I'm HR... not going to make it. Sinclair. And you're trolling. That's why you're not coming. He's like, what's a troll? Is that that garden gnome? Oh. <laughs> that is some content for us. Oh, a troll or oh, trolls? Those are mythical, eh? Uh, that is Sinclair. I can't come to work because I'm being trolled. It's a job. You show up whether you want to or not. When you're hanging, when you're hormonal, when you're sick, that's it when for you. you're dying, when you're tired. You gotta be in that studio. Always. Ah. <sighs> Well, my producer met on the times up like a maratatu. And you are saying what he had yeah, I'm telling you. I think I wouldn't, I wouldn't want my producer to be the same one I'm trying to make babies. Like, time's up. Time's up. What did you just say? It's my show. It's Dr. Foneke Live. You didn't tell me we're allowed to say things like those. We are. You're going to have such a again. diplomacy. All right, cut. We start from the beginning. Then get on. <laughs> then finish that. <laughs> Yo. Babes, thank you so much for coming on the show. Anytime, babe. Thank you so much. Um, Support 100 all day, every day. Every day, anytime. Keep shining, stay winning. No more children, please. Let's relax. Wait, I need to add more. Kids are expensive. No, no, no. Trust me, I, know, I, I pay like almost 150000 per term for my first two daughters. I don't want to... I don't want to pay my dog and I grow. Because I don't want to pay most of this for now. But I guess she's going two years next month. Okay, yeah. So yeah. let's not... But I got to add one. No, no, at no, least no, one. No, no, no. Add another like house. No, it's my daughters who told me they want another one. Or a yacht. Now listen, eh? What a kusaidia kulipa fees. What a They'll pray.
This is what happened. These kids have no shame. But they, our kids, CBC, are shameless. Bila tabia, bila adab. Two months ago, I go to visit them at their mom's, Nika. So my first two daughters, Faith and Debbie, sit me down on the dining table. Like, Dad, we need to talk. I'm like, okay, let's talk. I think we need to talk. Yes. These are your like, little ones. I'm like, reversed roles. Okay. Is this the effect of CBC? Exactly. I think, Dad, we need to talk. Well, like, I and I'm going to call boyfriend. Well, I'm going Dad, we've been seeing and watching. Eh? Ah. So we feel like well, Dad. You, you and Mom Nika had us, the two of us. Then uh, you and Mom Christine have Aisley. So we feel like it's an, it's an old number. So that we feel like you and Mom Christine should add one more. So then now it's two Mom Nika and two Mom Christine. Because us, we are ready. Ready for what? That is a seven year old and an 11 year old. And as like in an African house. Even just imagining the act of wait, your wait, parents wait, wait, doing wait, 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 wait. it, you die. Your children are, are where? They are, I we are ready. Munali parents in a school fee. Abamia. And you want me to have kids and I think my seven year old will be telling me go have another child. Yeah, I'll have another Father, kid. I'm not the one Father carrying Abraham, it. Abraham, because we're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Africa happening live in Mombasa. Of course, on the 11th of December. Yes. Uh, which, which was the venue? Butterfly Pavilion. Butterfly We're going Pavilion. to be right by the Great Lake. Yes. Amazing lineup. Vivian Benson, come and go herself. Dr. Fennec will be making a surprise. I'm not telling you I'm going to be there, but it's going to be a surprise on the 12th. Dr. Fennec will be there. It's going to be a surprise. Yes, it's going to be a surprise. I'm not <laughs> telling you. Yeah, my payment number is over there just in case you want to contribute for my flight because I've been told. Oh my gosh, you, you're beach. doing those things for. Because you're not paying for my flight. Fundraising. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uchango Stenbog? Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, no, she's say, agreed. I was saying, Instagram, buy my stickers. People are buying stickers on Instagram. No, don't get some Bitcoin. <laughs> Thank you so much to us at Andres. For so introducing me to Bitcoin, now I'm rich. Pandemic harassed me. Okay, then if you're rich, unafanya nini kwa comments zangu? Huh? Me, if I was rich, I'd be CG on Cloud9 on my CG Helipad. Cloud9 is occupied. Elon Musk is over there already. <laughs> okay, Jeff Bezos and would be chilling, taking shots. Where is every CEO resigning, by the way, from their companies? Because they have money. Me, I'm not resigning from anything. I'm waiting to buy my, my, my dream car this year. Which is uh, it? 2020. A GL. Oh. Now, you're going to come in and show. You're going to come in and see it. Of course, they must see First you. First of all, uh? I have worked hard. They must see you. Why should I hide from inside my, my Can richness? Can you please see my success? I hid because of poverty. Now that I'm rich, I'm uh. not hiding. Ah. No tinge. Number two, now I drive back on a nuke. Evo, Nangwada. No, 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 no. With no, boxers. Those cars if don't go If any police no, stops no, no, me. No, 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 Those cars don't go out of town. Stop doing that. So why did I buy it? Okay, why are you testing the car? Ah, it's an animal. It's a show. <laughs> My producer is walking around there. It looks like a teacher on duty. Why, why? I took up a Kanungo high school. What do you bossy up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't even lose the boss anymore. Ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Fonica Live. Remember to subscribe to the show, Dr. Fonica Live. And of course, for any comments and requests and anything, please, at drfonica.gmail.com. And of course, follow me on all social media platforms. This is where we are bold, with humorous. We're just having fun. This is the biggest thing in town, with the biggest conversation, with the biggest of guests. Of course, with the biggest of a host. The eagle himself, Dr. Fonica, is my name. See you again. I would have said next week, same time, but of course, it's YouTube. Watch it anytime, anywhere. <laughs> of course, to all my fans who are watching from China, Tika Road Super Highway. Bye bye. I don't know where are the credits here, where. And of course, remember for all your meetings and the best of food, yes. the only place you got to be is where? Pete's Cafe at Up Place. And of course, follow our Instagram page for us to know where our other outlets are as well. Yes, brought to you by. Your creative agency, and of course, a secret media as well. To all the ladies, to all the men, you can sort yourselves out. Oh.